What's going on everyone? Thank you so much for checking out this video. So today we're going to unbox the $1300 Canon 50mm 1.2 lens. So after I unbox it, we're going to go over why I got it and why I didn't choose the RF 50mm. And before we begin, if you guys can give this video a big thumbs up, it greatly helps the channel and subscribe. That would be great. And now, let's begin. All right, so here it is, the Canon 50 millimeter 1.2. So from the top right here, it's saying that we get a lens case and a lens hood, which is always nice. The fact that this lens is 14 years old and still has a price tag of $1,200, shows that Canon is doing something right. So right here on top, of course, you get your warranty cards. Here is the lens pouch. And the lens hood with the nice soft touch inside. And there it is. Pop that off. That is beautiful. So overall, pretty decently weighted. I love the compact size of this, pretty small, so it can fit pretty much in any of my bags. So I am super excited to start using this for weddings this year. So one of the main reasons as to why I got this lens is because of that enormous aperture. This lens has an incredible 1.2. With an aperture of 1.2, you can let in a crazy amount of light. So this lens is gonna be incredible for low light situations and of course portraits. Another reason why I got it is because I fell in love with it. Before I made this pretty decent investment, I borrowed it, I rented it, and it was just incredible. With it being able to stop down to 1.2, it creates this beautiful, magical look for wedding portraits. So once I decided that I was gonna actually use it a lot and fall in love with it, I knew I had to have it. Although this was a very hefty investment, I know I'm gonna make my money back from weddings and portraits. Another reason why I got it was because I wanted to challenge myself. Although 50 millimeters isn't the most challenging focal length to shoot at, just being stuck with 50 millimeters is a great way to push yourself and really get creative. So by pushing myself, I'll be able to get more creative shots that I haven't been able to get before and really push my boundaries. So you're probably asking, why didn't I get the RF lens for my Canon EOS R? Well, one of the reasons is because of the cost. The RF lens costs a whopping $2,300. Now I know this lens is pretty high too, but adding an extra thousand dollars just wasn't justifiable for me. As much as I would have loved to try out the new RF glass, I just wasn't ready yet. This is also because I use Canon 5D Mark IVs for my weddings. So obviously I would have to get an adapter, I don't know if they even make one for RF lenses to Canon 5D Mark IVs, but either way, I wouldn't be using it on my Mark IVs. Although I don't use my EOS R for weddings anymore because there's no dual card slots, I'll still occasionally bring it out to take formal portraits so I can bring that lens down to 1.2 and use the eye tracking software on the EOS R. I can definitely see the RF being an investment in the future though. I've been hearing incredible things about the RF series lenses and I can't wait to get my hands on one myself. But for now, the 50mm 1.2 is definitely fine with me and either way, it'll be used on my 5D Mark IVs. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I have so many more videos to come, so please subscribe, like this video, and ask any questions you have below. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video.